How's it going guys? We are back again, another day, another video, another W. Today we have a destroy lonely Ken Carson type of beat. But now listen, caution, before you listen to this whole thing, before you watch this whole thing, this is not like a, a certain type of beat that they've already had. It's just I feel like I'm I was making this beat. I just like making just beats that I just like. You know, like I just I just like making beats to whatever I like you know, like whatever I hear so it's not like there was a type B in mind for this but basically I feel like it has a Ken Carson destroy lonely kind of like I could hear them on this one day like I could definitely see them advancing not advancing but you know going to some kind of you know new type of beat in this style right it's really it's not a crazy beat or anything um, really quickly, I'd like to say, go listen. I have a new song coming out today. It hasn't come out yet. Um, I don't think, or sh not Dilate. Bro, Dilate's so far though. Um, it's not here, yeah. But it will be, um, very soon. So go listen to it. it it's probably out right now, actually. Yeah, it's actually not, right now, go, go to Spotify and yeah, listen to it. Anyways, so we started with this sample. I got this sample. I just made a melody and expand and then reversed it. This is what this sounds like. I don't know, just kind of ambient and creepy. Nothing crazy though. Uh, just like it's just like two notes, but I reversed them. And then same thing with this one, except they're they're kind of like they're not just two notes. It's just like I don't know. They're just. I don't know, they play a little melody, but then it's reversed. This is what it normally sounds like. And then this is what it sounds like reversed. And yeah, that's... Um, we use these just as like samples throughout the entire track. It plays the whole time. And then we added this mallet, like, bell type thing from Expand 2. This is what it sounds like. I Actually, I don't think it's a mallet. It's more like a marimba or something. Or a music box, I guess. Same difference. Who really cares? And we just played this melody. Um, I started by taking my top notes. These are the original melody of the, uh, the bell. And then I added some lower notes just for, like, bass in it. This is what this sounds like without the notes, without the bottom notes. And then we put them back in, this is what it sounds like. So it just kind of gives it like a sweet kind of, but still like creepy because it's like a music box. It gives it like, it's like creepy, but still like kind of like sweet and like nice sounding. I feel like a lot of Destroy Only have that, um, Destroy Only songs have that kind of style to the beat. And then we went straight to our hi-hats. We have more for the melody actually. Um, it's all the way down here though. So these are one shots from my drum kit, you know, go use this like the, the one shots are crazy. I made another video that I actually scrapped the video that was supposed to go out yesterday. I actually didn't end up posting it because I, I feel like it wasn't good enough. It was like 30 minutes long and it was just me just cooking up. Maybe you guys will want that. It's just me making a random beat. Um, but, um, okay. So I took from my one shots this uh, glitched synth and I made this melody um, I was just seeing if there was panning I think the one shot itself is like that pan to the left a little bit anyways that's that melody uh, it just adds to the creepiness like the notes just kind of give it a creepy vibe after that we opened this synth it's the bad synth but i used it kind of like as a 808 pluck almost but it's not got the base of an 808 not all the way this is what it sounds like now this synth um it, it's kind of like the chase the money it sounds like that you know in a sense but it, it isn't, it's just a regular synth. Like this is what it normally sounds like. Right. Um, but yeah, we just played some lower notes and it sounded like that. Anyways, 
After that, we opened this uh, guitar lead one shot from my one shot kit as well. And I just played these notes. I don't know. I just clicked in this melody and then I was like, okay, uh, let me take this and then drop it down an octave. So that's what we did. And this is what it sounds like. It's, um, it is heavily EQ'd because the original sound is like really, where is it at? It's like one of these. I think it's this one. Or definitely not. Okay, I don't know. It's one of these. It's, it's like heavily EQ'd. Maybe it's this one, actually. It's this one. Um, yeah, see, we took out a lot of the low end and some of the high end as well. Like a good majority of it. Um, what the? Okay. This is what it sounds like. Sorry. It sounds kind of weird. It doesn't sound like a guitar at all. Um, and the original sample, like the one shot of it, isn't like too much like a guitar either. But I don't know. It's just like a little synth to add to the beat. So I did and found a melody that I liked and I stuck with it. And I, you know, took the, put some notes uh, an octave below. After that, um, we go on to the drums. We started with this hi-hat. It's our first hi-hat. We have three hi-hats, which is crazy, but you guys will, you'll, you'll understand why here in a second. So this is the first hi-hat. It's just the meh hi-hat. It's in my drum kit. My drum kit's free, by the way. It's in the description. That's what that sounds like. The velocities are switched up a little bit. That's really it though to that one. The clock I had, the velocities are down and I don't think there's any panning or anything like that to it. It's just velocities down. This is what this sounds like. Whoops. That's it, it just plays that over. And then our last hi-hat is a little reverse, but I kind of went crazy with it and panned it a bunch and changed the velocities a bunch just to I don't know. I just thought it kind of made the I had like a little bit more diverse and just crazy sounding. That's all for that. Um, but then all of them together just kind of like go crazy. Here's what this sounds like. Also, sorry for the low energy. I've been so sleepy today. I don't know why, bro. This is what this sounds like. Oh wait, shit! Not the bell. I made sure to keep the main hi-hat the loudest, um, but the other ones just kind of add a little bit more to it, and I, I liked it a lot. Um, next, our clap. Really, nothing crazy here. It's just, you know, I added a couple claps with lower velocities before this clap. Just added some more random claps, just kind of like how you would lay out a snare, almost. This is what this sounds like. That's all for that one. Um, velocities are pretty much just normal, I guess. After that, we opened a snare. This is the all black snare from my kit. That's what it sounds like. Just plays that on the and of the one, or not even the and, I don't think. It's like the very start of the one, I think. Wait. Yeah, it's well, it's like on the end of the one in the first bar. Anyways. Uh, that's a really common snare like setup. Then we had this, the S or the hold my hand snare. I have this play on the clap and then like on the end of the four in the third bar. Next, we have this little rim that I added. I, I don't know, I just kind of like the sound of it. So I let it um, fade away in velocity and then brought it back. Just these two right here. Nothing plays all over here. This is what this sounds like. Um, and then we have this shaky perk that I added. Really low velocity because I didn't want it too loud. After that, we have a crazy open hat, but most of them are pretty low in velocity, so it's not like that easy to hear. That's pretty much all for that. Nothing too crazy, in my opinion, at least. Next, we have this 808. This is our first 808. We have two. It goes from this one to the other one, and they play the same melody. And then next, we have this 808. Uh, 
I don't know, using two 808s a lot of the time gives me like a really can and lone kind of sound. I don't know why or how, but it just does. And uh, that's pretty much it for this beat. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. I don't know, I just kind of needed... Um, I was just making this beat for fun. A lot of the time, I don't even make these type beats. I just make them for tutorials for you guys. But, you know, I'm, every now and then, I'm going to maybe miss a day just in order to, you know, get my whole thing set up straight. Just like, you know, take a, take a minute off from posting every single day. I think it's better that way. I, I do want to post every single day. It's just, I don't know, I feel like if I keep doing that, Oh man, that would be that would be awful. I love posting these videos. It's just I can't do it every single day because I don't know. It's just like I don't know. It, I just like the creativity just gets lost for me. So I, I I'm not taking like a like there will be a video tomorrow or whatever. Like it won't be like I'll post once a week. A lot of producers do that, but I like posting every day. I feel like it keeps it fresh. Um, and I'll just you know be keeping everything moving. Uh, and that's what I want to do is just, you know, just taking a little minute off occasionally, just a day or maybe two days. But, um, yeah, this isn't exactly a, any type of beat. It's just I feel like they would sound good on it. That's pretty much it. Go check out the music. It The the song drops today. It's literally coming out right now. Like As we're speaking, somebody is listening to it. Anyways, have a good one, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.